Wow, how time flies in Uganda. Good morning guys, day I have no idea in Uganda. It is Saturday now, is it Saturday mom? Saturday, right? Oh my god, we're leaving tomorrow night. Wow, how time flies in Uganda. Today is quarterfinals day, except the big issue is that the times haven't been released yet, so I don't know when I'm playing, so that's great. Also, they changed the bus schedule without letting us know, so that's also great. Apparently, they switched it today. I woke up this morning feeling very sore, my lower right back. My hip was really sore yesterday here, but it's fine today actually, surprisingly, maybe because I stretched so much. My neck kind of hurts. I think I kind of slept funny yesterday. I didn't sleep too well either. So I'm probably gonna take a nap right now. Hopefully the times don't come out while I'm napping and I like miss my match somehow. I don't know if semifinals are today as well if I win quarters or if semifinals is tomorrow because I've heard mixed things. Anyways, I'm gonna take a nap, maybe study some physics. Also, I tried looking for my opponent's match videos on YouTube yesterday and I literally couldn't find anything. So I'm going in blind again. Lovely for me. That's it, I guess. See you guys later. Bye! So I just finished my game. I'm here with, what's your name? Joshua. Joshua? My name, yeah. Are you one of the organizers? Yes, I am. Yeah? That's what manager. Mm, do you play badminton as well? I'm a former player and a coach. Oh, wow. Like national coach? National, secondary school, junior coach, level one coach. Oh, that's cool. So you were a player before? Yeah, former junior champion. Wow. I was 20 years. Uh, 
side too. No, okay. okay, I think I'm back at the hotel. That was a pretty rough game. I won in three sets. I lost 18 and then I won 16 and then I won 15 maybe. Oh my god. I felt like first of all, I didn't warm up enough. Second of all, like I was sweating but I wasn't like mentally there. And then my back, as I said earlier, was kind of really sore and my hip sore as well and my foot has been hurting a little bit but that's no excuse it doesn't really hurt on court it's just when i get off court that's when it hurts but it's fine i just got someone from the hotel to go to the supermarket to buy ice for me because this hotel has no ice the restaurant here also doesn't have ice for some reason hashtag i love uganda the first game i literally made so many unforced errors it was unbelievable she literally just searched me and i'd hit out or like I'd hit into the net. And I felt like the bird was really fast today because I would go at the front, I'd flick, and it'd go out. Like I literally go like this, like this little motion, and it'd literally go out. Same thing for my backhand. I'd go like this, and the bird would go out. But that's no excuse because my opponent was also playing with the same bird. And yeah, at first my high serves. Every time I high served, I would not be able to see my opponent's shot because it's kind of hard to see in that arena. So every time I high serve, I'm like waiting and then I'm waiting for her to like attack. And I literally can't see it until the bird's like already like here. So that's where I lost a lot of points. And when I made unforced errors, I kept making them continuously. So I lost like how many points in a row? Like seven, eight points in a row. And I was just like internally panicking a little bit because I'm just like, what is wrong with me? Just like hit it in. And then second game was better. I just net more because I noticed that a lot of my pushes were going out and the bird's quite fast. So I just tried to attack. I told myself I have to hit down at the front and just net spin because if I net spin, then she'll have to lift high. But in the first game, I felt like my opponent, she's a doubles player. So whenever I net, if it's not good quality, she's really good at pushing it flat. And I'd always like go back and I'd be late. So I was a little bit scared of that. But then once I started net spinning and being more confident, she can't push because my net is spinning. So she'd have to wait till it comes down then she'd lift it really high and then I attack and that's how I won most of my points so I tried implementing that strategy in the second game and then I won and then third game I was losing 5-11 because I literally played how I played first game I just hit everything out again and I was like oh my god what is wrong with me when we switched sides I was just like okay I just need to take a couple deep breaths and just focus and just get it over because I'm pretty sure I can outrun her So then yeah, that's what I did I just was literally the whole time deep breathing and literally the whole second half of the third game. I was just like Literally the whole time also I was more confident in the third game So I just nest spin my nest spins were pretty good and she didn't really net back much So every time I nest spin she just wait for the bird to come down and then she lift and then I just attack and that's how I won most of my points and my slices were quite effective against her I feel like so that's how I won most of my points my foot started hurting a lot after I got off, so that's why I'm gonna ice it. I'm playing against a player from Malaysia tomorrow in semifinals. Semifinals are tomorrow morning and then finals are in the afternoon if I win semifinals. Hopefully I do, fingers crossed. So that's the update. Anything else to add, mom? Can you go fall behind so much all the time? Did I give you a heart attack? Yes. Can you focus from the minute you play instead of focus I try. at 11 points? I tried. My mom literally thought I was gonna lose because I was losing third game 5-11 and she, after my game she was like, I thought you were gonna lose already. I was like, wow, no confidence in me, but whatever, it's fine. Proved you wrong. <laughs> Even you think you will be no, I, I had at one point I was just like, oh shoot, what if I lose this game? I can't lose in quarters, please. So yeah, no, I played bad today. I think it's because I played good yesterday, and then the second game yesterday was like, mm, not bad. That's why today was bad. So tomorrow's good. 
That's how that's how it works with me. It's why my foot will be better tomorrow. Hopefully after ice it'll be better. But I don't really feel the pain when I'm on court because the adrenaline, so it's fine. It's just like afterwards sometimes. I'm gonna analyze my opponent's game later today, probably study some physics and sleep early tonight because I think semi starts at 9 a.m. tomorrow. I don't know what time finals are if I make it. And I have to start packing too because I have to check out tomorrow at 12 p.m. later. So I have to literally check out when I leave the venue for semis. I guess that's the update, guys. That was a pretty rough game, but I'm glad I got it anyways. Need to wish me the best tomorrow. Wish me luck, everyone. Fingers crossed. Really hope I can make it to finals.